Hey guys, Lou here with uh, Tiny Mountain Houses. Kind of want to introduce uh, one of our latest additions of our Castle Peak. Uh, got some cool little things that we've added to this house this last go around. This is a 25 foot version of what's typically a 24 footer. Notice uh, the cedar accent, you've seen this before, but the windows. These are 30 by 80 inch windows, full glass, almost to the ceiling. As you look inside this house, you'll see what we've done here is a sweeping ladder. Inside, you'll see how well that looks and it integrates into this house. I am so excited about what we've done here. I can't wait to show you the inside of this house. Let's take a look. All right, this is a really cool house if I do say so myself. First off, we have done something a little bit different with this entry closet and the fact that we've got drawers here versus the, the cubbies we usually do. Um, we've actually deepened this cabinet by a few inches, giving us the ability to do even a closet rod in here, additional shelving. What we've done is done a little, little uh, coat rack kind of thing going on. Um, nice use of space. Once again, flexible space in here. Our standard floor in a tiny mountain house is a rolled goods vinyl. Some people call it a linoleum. It's a very durable product. When we place it on the floor, it goes across the whole floor of your tiny house. We place the walls, cabinets, toilets, fixtures on top of it. There is no seams in this floor, so it doesn't give the opportunity for leaks or problems that can be caused by other flooring that have those gaps uh, that can cause issue. Uh, this floor is going to last a long time. Let's take a look at um, the kitchen. If Ryan can pan over to the left here, you'll notice we've got a 10 cubic foot uh, Magic Chef refrigerator. And it's got a lower freezer in it. Really cool design. Uh, above that, we've added a little shelf for the microwave, which we do a lot of, but we've actually added the microwave into that space. Uh, here you see our standard uh, glass two burner electric cooktop and of course our standard uh, exhaust fan that comes with every single house. This house has the 54 inch extended height overhead cabinets and we started trimming these out a little bit different on the top. You see that? So you got, get a nice little accent in there, a little shelf area and getting a, a more of a finished look than maybe we've had in the past. Of course inside these cabinets, we'll take a peek inside, adjustable shelving, uh, great use of height and space. What you see over the sink uh, is, a, is a two window configuration, our typical window with the uh, transom above it. Here you see uh, the sink itself is our apron sink, which we do a lot of. Cool look, isn't it? Uh, once again, the pull out gooseneck. Uh, and as we pan over the backsplash, you'll see we've got our glass and tile and rock backsplash. Keep in mind that is real glass block and tile. Um, it's not plastic. Here we've got a residential toilet that's an elongated. We can do round toilets um, or we can do RV, of course, composting, incinerating, um, depending on your specific needs. This is our 48 inch shower. This is a standard design for a Castle Peak model. Two seats in here, the shower head uh, off of the wall. We do offer a, a rain shower head. Um, actually, we've done a house for someone that was a rain shower head that actually has LED lighting in it and it changes colors based on the temperature of the water. It really is pretty cool. If you want something like that, talk to us and we'll definitely entertain it and we can easily do it. Um, and inside this particular pantry, what we've done is prepped this house for a single unit washer dryer. Okay. Yeah, so you got your hot and cold, you've got your electrical outlet for your dryer. Uh, it would stick inside of this, it would fit inside this cabinet and protrude about two inches beyond the cabinet itself. It would be mounted and be stationary. These doors, of course, would, would not be here when you install that. Talk a little bit about the what we call the den or flex media room and what we've done here. You know, one of the things that kept coming up is, you know, hey, you know, I want a room that I can use as a living room. I need a room that I can use as a bedroom. Or I just want an open space in there that kind of combines into the rest of the house or flows into it. What we've done here is eliminated what is our standard wall between or separating the den from this or the flex room from the rest of the house. This opened it up quite a bit. Um, it, it gives you the ability, well in this case I should say, what we've done is added the entertainment center 
good use of space, but that doesn't need to be there. That can be a Murphy bed. This can all be enclosed. We could put a barn door here. This could be a pocket door here. This whole room and the whole use of this can change significantly from what it is now. And that's what is so endearing about this floor plan is the fact that we have so many things that we can bring into play here. And it depends on you and your use. And one of the things that we pride ourselves in is the conversation and feedback from you as to what you're gonna use the house for. You know, what is it that's important? What's gonna happen here? Because every house we build is for that particular buyer. We don't build a duplicate of the last one. It's, hey guys, what are you going to do? How are you going to use this space? What's important to you? And we make that build fit you. Um, that's a critical component to what Tiny Mountain Houses represents and what we do for you. But some nice uh, steps in here that match the, the uh, pine lofts. Um, once again, you know, the whole design, the whole look of this can change based on colors. This could be a different color rather than the black. The steps can be made out of a whole lot of different woods, whether once again it's black walnut, cherry, you know, fly you to the moon with stuff. Uh, what we've also added in this house is, is this bench. Cool little bench. Once again, just an idea of some of the furnishings you might want to add. We can typically, we can easily, I should say, uh, duplicate what we've done in this house for you inside. If you haven't already noticed them, the 30 by 80 inch windows, lots of glass, um, lots of natural light in here. You notice they go almost, almost to the ceiling. Um, it, they look fantastic in my opinion. Now we're gonna step up into the loft. I want you to get a good look at this loft. This is a nine foot deep, almost eight foot wide loft. It does have a queen up there, but you need to get a feel of that space. Let's take a look. Notice the uh, four feet of headroom. Uh, at the peak from the floor of the loft. We've got the three windows, two of them being egress, and the back window. Now, of course, we can leave out that back window if you want to do a headboard or stack pillows up there. Uh, once again, that is a queen. You can easily place a king, California king. Uh, take a look at the new uh, little uh, laser etched uh, plaque that we're including with each of our houses. For your house, that would be personalized with your name. Tiny Mountain House custom built for you.